They say make hay when the sun shines. I say buy hay when you have the otongu. My name is Sylvester Ogwangfumbe, the only man with an English name from Nyamtoi County Regional Diaspora. I do not like you, bruh. Neither will I, bruh. But I also don't think it is a crime to tell you that I'm a proud owner of all the prices you see in this town. Mr. Price, Mark Price, Enterprise, Car Price. And for the sake of women representatives, I am soon building Mrs. Price. But do I say, I am a well-traveled man. Just the other day, Sepp Blatter himself had please called me, flashed me, impressed me, tweeted me. Do you know why? You were simply begging me. Begging me to go and sit next to him. <laughs> but do I say? I know that most of you have now started thinking that my life has been a bed of roses all through. But no, Mr. President, help me as to find the true story of this young man, Sylvester Gwangfumbe, Otongolo time. Eni madugu sekizani leo ni wambi ni abari ya Otongolo. I graduated with a diploma in business administration from Nyamtoi Village Polytechnic University College. Our college, our college principal who double up as dean of students, vice chancellor, matron, and also the official bus driver. Always insisted to us that it would be totally disappointing for someone to go through Namtoi Kindergarten, Namtoi Primary School, Namtoi CDF Secondary School, Namtoi Village Polytechnic University College, and end up working in Namtoi Center. He always insisted to us that for you to show that you are going through an institution of higher learning is to graduate, travel to Bore Kapuana, Nairobi, to make a tumble. And so after my graduation, I had no option but to travel to Nairobi to make a tumble. Ogwango fumbe onyango magunda kora uoke gwango wa. Kwe in Nairobi a chope ni wanda yudi oro tumble. Agunga ki kosi miti ni wanda yudi oro tumble. Tuke dadi yomu yengo ni wanda yudi oro tumble. I want you to yomu koyo ni wanda yudi oro tumble. Yomu areti yomu rubu ni wanda yudi oro tumble. Ni wao kosi. The Swahilians once said, "Ukipanda pantosha, utashuka ambassador." I alighted. I alighted at the ambassador. Walked all the way to railways. Took matatu number nine octopiso ivo ivo ivo. Where does number nine octopiso go to? Analog. You don't know. No wakare. I had expected life in Nairobi to be smooth all the way. Gafla bin vus and vus and lepo fika lawa karen and hanguli lai. Problem started following me like muddy money. Problem number one, language. I had lived in Yamtoi speaking one language and one language only. Luotino. This is the language being spoken by my cousin Obama Wada Lego at White House. But when I arrived in the city, I found out that speaking Kiswahili was compulsory. How did they expect me? I told me, Sylvester Gwangfumbe would not fail to speak Kiswahili. Of course, of course I knew Kiswahili. The only Kiswahili word I could comfortably speak was Maharaba. <laughs> this was because, this was because our head teacher used to stand before us, before us each and every morning at the assembly and adjust his own shirt while looking at us at a perpendicular angle with a hot smile. Then greet, Maharaba wanafuzi. Ayoma, 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 Even Maharaba wewe pia will not be the best response for such a question. Problem number two, 
sanitation. The one who are not carrying a demand. One toilet. All one needed to do was to pay a real medium short calls. <laughs> In case one did not have a tumbler to make the calls, you will use the readily available Okwaja has BDFD. Black bulletin flying toilet. <laughs> Problem number three insecurity. It was only lower career where one will wash his own clothes, hang them outside, go inside the house, sneak through the back door, steal the neighbor's clothes, only to realize that he has just stolen his own clothes. <laughs> one morning, one morning, thieves broke into my three bedroom bulletin house. And on realizing that I did not have anything to steal, they caned me thoroughly, threatened him to do what the next day they will come back and did not find anything to steal. But the biggest problem was joblessness. I had expected to find job in Nairobi, but as they say, if horses were wishes, Asana and Nikola Kikombe. I will wake up early in the cobweb, use my leg, sass, and foot shubishi to metropolitan KIA, Kenya Industrial Area, to look for a job. At KIA, I had three jobs on a construction site. One, I was the human resource manager in financial accountability, resource mobilization, internal and external affairs, a sweeper. <laughs> Two, I was the officer in charge of a vehicle locomotive in cargo shipmentation, a wheelbarrow officer. <laughs> Three, this was the most important job that people recognized me. I was the chief inspector, attorney general of the Kenya National Vocal Point on Small Arms and Light Reports, KNFP, a watchman. <laughs> I will try to save the little that I have. And at the end of the entire week, I had only enough to take me to city stadium for the state function. I also bought a home theater, a small transistor radio. You enable me know, give up penny watch what the world was saying. And also to avoid some caning in case the thieves come back. <laughs> One morning when I went to KIA, my heart was propagated into a cardiotropic attack. I almost experienced a CCF, congestive cardiac thing. The building which you are constructing was finally over. This meant that I was officially jobless again. I had to look for a job to sustain my living in Nairobi, but all was in vain. I looked for a job. I looked for a job. I looked for a job. Of course, of course I found a job only to realize that that job was to look for a job. <laughs> That's why Elias once said, Achaftaya choki, akichoka, kashapata, shikopata. My relatives back in the village did not forget that I was in the city to make a tongue which will change the less for the better. Each problem that faced them at all will be passed to me through the numerous and replied paragraphs of letters. Paragraph 1. Dear Sylvester, our coward invaded a neighbor's farm and it has eaten all the molayas and the manures. Therefore, send us some otongulo to pay the fine. Paragraph 2. Dear Sylvester, your younger cheeky brother had been misbehaving with the chief's daughter and he has finally put her in the family way. Therefore, Send us some tumblo to pay the devil. Paragraph 3. Dear Sylvester, our cow has chicken pox. And our chicken has mud cow disease. Therefore, send us some tumblo to buy paracetamol and dino. Paragraph 4. Dear Sylvester, dog, meanwhile, Maisha in the city. He is in the city. The landlord was at my polythene door threatening. I was <laughs> the thieves also 
a this should a warning sir that I should buy two new batteries for my home theater before they could come back and steal it. Of course, they killed me again. <laughs> to make it worse, my neighbor's wife put my three-bedroom polythene house on fire as a result of post-marital violence with her husband. <laughs> I was now homeless, jobless, brokeless, going a full week without a job and become a known for me. Eating was as luxurious as driving a Mercedes Benz. Achandora eh, achandora, achandora, achandora eh, achandora, Nairobi achandora, achandora eh, achandora, achandora, achandora eh, achandora, Obang achandora, achandora eh, achandora, achandora. Achandora 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 One day I missed all the calls I did not take lunch I did not take breakfast I did not take supper Simply because I did not have a dog to buy any food Hey! Nairobi Nairobi you mean you can do this to me? Over Nairobi you have done me Hey! Embarrassment or no embarrassment, I decided to go back to my village of Nyamtoi. I'm coming home, home where I belong. Oh, Mr. President, it is now over here since I came back to my village of Nyamtoi. Transformation is evident. My issue is Yoko Yoko. Yani Viper! <laughs> Thanks to the loan I received from the government, my name has just been admitted in the Forbes magazine for being the first Kenyan to land Bill Gates himself. Some loose change. <laughs> but do I say, I have now officially become Amikas Otongolo I. Yani a friend to Otongolo. I now do my shopping in various parts of the world, depending on what I want to buy, the weather condition, and the way I want to buy it. For example, this Agbada Nigerian attire that I'm now attiring myself in. I bought it in Calabar during the explosive match between Arambestas and Nigeria. While this black Italian leather shoe that I'm now suffocating my legging. I bought it as... I bought it in Paris during the Lancaster conference. Not forgetting my bungalow, my expensive bungalow, which was constructed by an imported engineer whom I met in Kuala Lumpur on my way to Mexico via Yugoslavia. <laughs> hey! To visit La Maria, to visit my houseboy. But do I say, for more information, log me on www.otonglatai.ochotjunior.ocs Nyakwardani Before I leave, Mr. President, let me take a picture profile of myself to remind me that I was once in Mombasa. Stay down! Stay. <laughs> Mr. President, it is treated. Yeah. Dot <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Oweira. Dot K E. Mr. President, you are tweet me. Tweet me. <laughs> Another round of applause for Otongo Lotai. Your Excellency, that masterpiece was written by this young man here and presented by him as... Maybe 
Brasil. So he's gone digital. We can treat him anytime on Otongolo time. Dot <laughs> ke dot highway high school. Your Excellency, we also have technical training institutes participating in the festival, and Nairobi Aviation College have a solo verse. 